What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel where we talk about the joys of stock market investing and long-term dividend gain. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber. Welcome back. Guys, as if the uh, FTF fiasco couldn't get any worse, man, we done found out that if you guys remember last week when they filed bankruptcy, FTX, the FTX Corporation filed bankruptcy, the crypto, second largest crypto exchange filed for bankruptcy. Hours later, it came out, oh, we've been hacked. They're telling everybody, oh, take your money out the account. Uh, uh, try to get your money out. It's falling apart. <laughs> they, we've been hacked. Somebody took the remaining $600 million that we had. Come to find out they weren't hacked. Guess who it was? The Bohemian government. Yes, the government in the Bahamas confiscated the rest of the money. Then the government tells uh, him, oh, we don't believe you You did the bankruptcy. So we're just going to take the money. We're going to seize the money. Now, amid them having assets and stuff that they wouldn't spend the money on luxury homes and other silliness that's over there, you know, I guess they seized them too. But to take the man's money, I mean, well, it ain't his money, it's people's money, but to, to take it and keep it under the guise of, oh, you didn't file bankruptcy. You know, you made us look bad. We're going to take the money. That's ludicrous. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't understand what's going to happen, but this is what I do know, and this is why I'm coming hard on the, on the Bohemian government and how they filed. They took the $600 million that, that was left, you know, in uh, FTX coin, right? They took the remaining amount of that money, which came out to about $600, $600 million. And what they did was they took it and then they sold out of the coin and then converted the money in the Ethereum coin. Now, if that is not some foul stuff, I don't know what is. But I know I do know this. Man, this thing, <laughs> this thing gonna be going on for a minute. Supposedly, uh Maxine Waters, uh politician Maxine Waters is supposed to try to push to have him come before con Congress. A lot of other Congress folk are talking about having Sam Bakeman for it come before con Congress, and I believe they should. I mean, what he did was a foul thing. We already went over that. You know, you took people's funds and just spent it up willy-nilly, buying properties and mansions and stuff like that. You and your, uh, your team, and, you know, things to take care of themselves on that. But, man, as far as the Bohemian government, man, I mean, I don't understand that. You know, you could have locked the guy up and then said, hey, you know what? You're going to the United States because uh, you cost some people billions of dollars. And then, you know, but the thing is this, and I want to make this perfectly clear. When you file for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, right, you're just suspending the company. So it's not like he's saying, hey, we're broke. They suspend the company. They suspend the assets and everything else. The Bohemian government can't do that. They can't take money after a bankruptcy has been filed. And it's proof that the bankruptcy was filed prior to them coming in and trying to steal the money via wire over the computer and take his money. Now, I keep, I don't, I'm sorry, I keep saying his money. It's not funny, but, you know, it makes you think a lot. You know, like, what kind, what kind of stuff is people on out here? You know what I mean? You, you're a government you're, you're a government that represents the nation. Now, I can understand you being embarrassed and all that, but I mean, to do that is outright greedy. They're going to have to give the money back. When the U.S. asks for it, they're going to have to give the money back. If not, really, that saves them. Because now the money's in charge of them, and then they took the money. And they'll say, oh, you had $600 million. No, I don't. What happened to it? They got it. That might get him off the hook. So I'm sure the U.S. is going to be like, hey, you need to take that money and put it back. Or, you know, supplement it out of your own economy and put that money back in there because under U.S. law, you can't take. And uh, when, a, when a bankruptcy is uh, issued, especially at Chapter 11, all assets are frozen. You can't take no, you can't take the money from, from that man like that. That is like another thing I think about with this thing is, um, you know, we all know what he did. We all know how careless he was. We all know that he's still on uh, Twitter running his mouth about what he wants to do and, you know, oh, I can make it right in this net. Uh, I, I was, now he's saying, I'm under the guise of, 
you're blaming them on your girlfriend. Oh, everybody was telling me the team, you got to file bankruptcy. I didn't want to do it. If I had a chance to do it over again and not file bankruptcy, I would have froze the assets for a month and, and I would have got the money back. No, you wouldn't have done because you was already in the news. I mean, just the thinking of how he is just shows me the level of irresponsibility. You're blaming your girlfriend and you're the CEO of the company. You make the executive decisions. How are you going to blame somebody else? Bottom line is this, guys. This man and them people that he was with, his uh, main compadres in this whole mess, I, I don't see nothing less than jail time. He can't talk his way out of this. You know, when he go to Congress, they go. They know the questions to ask. And they know, they know everything they're going to ask up front. They're going to have that written down. He ain't going to have time to think because he don't know what he's walking into. You know, yeah, you rub... Uh, Elbows with a lot of big name people and stuff at that time, but they'll turn on you in the drop of a hat when it comes to losing all that money because nobody wants that stain on them as being a skeevy, even though that runs rampant in, in, in government sometimes. You know, everybody's greedy. You know, it takes a certain type of person to be a politician. Always remember that. But, yeah, as far as this, I'm anxious to see what's going to happen with the U.S. and the government in Bahamas and how they're going to come to uh, some type of agreement on this. Because I don't know the corruption level in the Bahamas, but it's making me think now that that's kind of funny that they did that. You know, you came in and stole it and then admit it. Yeah, we took it. Like like nothing can happen to y'all. Like, you know, I mean, you the government can't nothing happen to you. Ain't nobody going to go to war over it. But, I mean, it makes you look real bad. I remember uh, I was looking into land in the Bahamas. And you had to be a resident to even get land in the Bahamas. Because I was thinking about it. I had went to Nassau on a cruise. I'm like, man, this is really nice. I wonder how much the houses cost over here. Because they had a lot of stuff with tourism and stuff. I'm like, I'm thinking it's a tourist uh, island. Maybe uh, to, the, the cost of living over here is cheaper. And the cost of property, if you pick it right, or land, may be, you know, less expensive. But I'm glad now I ain't mess with them knowing that they doing crazy stuff like this. You taking you took you took the man, I mean, I keep saying the man's, I'm sorry, y'all. You took a company's that was under duress, you took their remaining assets, knowing that you had knowledge of them filing for bankruptcy, and tried to hurry up and take it. And then once you took it, you didn't want to have it in your possession, you tried to flip it into Ethereum and then say, Oh, we never had the coin. That is crazy. But anyway, guys, leave me, a, leave me a comment, man. This stuff just keeps getting crazy. Leave me a comment. And let me know how y'all feel about that. You think the Bohemian government was right to take the money and be like, yo, screw you? You think they'll have to give it back? Do you think uh, Sam Bakeman Ford would be on the hook for that $600 million being that another government entity took it from him? I'd like to hear from you in the comments. As always, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button or the subscribe button that's in the corner. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.